Hey, I'm Sam. I'm a second year biologist at Imperial College London, and I'm going to tell you the truth about what it's really like to study at Imperial. If you don't know what it is, Imperial is one of the top 10 universities in the world. It's situated in a place called South Kent in London, and they specialise in science and business. If you do know what it is, you're probably panicking about UCAS or university choices right now. Um, but honestly, just sit back, relax for however long this video ends up being, and hopefully by the end of it you can make an educated choice about whether you want to apply here or come here in the future. I guess I should probably start with what it's really like to study here and then wiggle my way through the other stuff. So when I arrived in first year after the generic housekeeping shenanigans about security and just life in London in general, um, I was generally having about two lectures a week and normally a lab. Occasionally there'd be another lab or a tutorial personal tutorial whatever sprinkled in with it but that was a pretty pretty standard week for me and I honestly really enjoyed what I was doing the lecturers were stellar they were bringing in their own research into lectures they were always willing to talk to me if there was something I was struggling with or I wanted to know more about and outside of the lectures the staff were amazing too my personal tutor is not only a silver fox but uh he's also a really really great guy and whenever I had any problems I could just go straight to him and he'd talk through them with me and help me deal with any issues that were coming up. When it comes to the workload, you've probably already heard some horror stories about it, but honestly, it's nowhere near as bad as what you've heard. Some weeks you'll have plenty of free time, other weeks, maybe not so much, but you're not gonna be underneath piles of work constantly. In first year, I managed to hold up a pretty decent work-life balance. Uh, this year, Maybe not quite so much, but that's my own fault. Outside your studies, there's plenty of stuff to do as well. The university usually lord this figure. They have something like 350 clubs and societies. Just a heads up, this is predominantly because there's a society for every single nationality, and that adds up quite a lot when you're at a really international university. But regardless of that, there is a hell of a lot of stuff to do. For example, I spend my time doing esports and TV society, but I've got friends who do diving, climbing, anime society, Kabaddi and Krav Maga. And these societies are where you'll make most of your friends. People who genuinely give a about you and the stuff you do. With regards to your social life outside of the curricular and extracurricular stuff, the union is a great place to spend time with friends. And if you fancy going further afield, there is a ton of stuff to do here in London. Whether you like partying, going to meetups, exploring or wandering around museums, there's loads of stuff constantly going on in London. And Contrary to popular belief, a hell of a lot of it isn't too expensive. So, as long as you're sensible with your money, you'll be able to do everything you want to do here in London pretty comfortably. The final thing that I want to talk about is something that's really, really important. Mental health. You've probably heard that a lot of people at Imperial really struggle with this, and unlike the other horror stories, that wouldn't be incorrect. I personally really struggled in first year so badly that I ended up taking a year out from my studies. I categorically do not regret that decision whatsoever. I had some amazing opportunities and met some truly, truly incredible people who've become friends for life. But I do wish I dealt with my issues and problems before it got to the point where I had to take a step back and go, I, I can't continue being here at the moment. Imperial does provide support for issues like these. Maybe not as much as is currently needed, as is kind of shown by the length of the waiting list for counsellors here, but nonetheless they're trying. But the thing is you have to reach out for that support before you reach breaking point because it's not going to come to you. If you decide to come to Imperial and you do find yourself having problems, and obviously not everyone does, but if you do find yourself having problems, reach out to a member of staff in the department, your personal tutor, um, the mental health services or just talk to a friend. There is absolutely no shame in struggling with your mental health or any other issue. But the worst thing you can possibly do is try to ignore it. If you want to know more about Imperial or Love Science, don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I'll answer them there. Or if you'd rather ask them privately, you can DM my Instagram at Uncharted Science. Uh, and who knows, if you love animals, maybe you should give it a follow as well. Best of luck to all of you with your university applications and hopefully I'll see you all soon. I love you all. Peace out and ta -ra.